right? Okay, <clears throat> so now let's do an example. A half kilogram block of metal with an initial temperature of 30 degrees Celsius is dropped into a container holding 1.12 kilograms of water at 20 degrees Celsius. If the final temperature of the block water system is 20.4 degrees Celsius, what is the specific heat capacity of the metal? Assume the container can be ignored and that no heat is exchanged with the surroundings. Can we do this? Except I haven't given you one thing. I think you actually let's just do the. Yeah, we need the specific heat of something. Oh yeah, the water. Does anyone remember the specific heat of water? I don't. Know. Wait, what is it? Uh, what units? Joules per gram Celsius. Joules per gram Celsius. They give us Celsius. That's the one we're going to use. Yeah. Okay. What is it again? Four point two. Four point one eight six, right? Four. One eight four. Yeah. Four point one eight four. Why do I remember six? It's okay. And it's joules per degree Celsius, right? Grams? Grams times. Uh, Grams times degree Celsius. Yeah, this is important to remember. Uh, make sure you remember the units that you are using because it can be kilograms, Kelvin, degrees Fahrenheit, whatever it is. Find the C that matches with that. The C's, remember we said they were ambiguous and I didn't tell you what delta T was because delta T depends on the units that you are using. That's, that's how they trick you, right? I'm not saying you're ready to say something. What? No. I know something. I want to know. Bullshit. It's close enough. Do we know how to do this? Where are we going to start? The butterfly equation. Mm -hmm. What's the butterfly equation? There we go. That's the only one that you actually technically always have to remember. Right? Delta Q equals zero. What do we have now? We have a metal and we have water. So what are the two delta Qs we're gonna worry about? DQ plus DB equals zero. Yeah? Then it's gonna be MCW delta T plus MCB delta T equals zero. Same exact steps. And what is it asking me for? Specific heat, um, Specific heat of the metal. So I'm looking for this. Okay, good. So then that means everything else has to go on the other side. Yeah, that's easy. So then I have to do MWCW, no. I'll keep, I'll keep the cheese on this side. CB equals MWCW delta T minus divided by MB delta T. This would be the delta T of the block, no, of water. And this will be the delta T of the block. Can we all plug in the values? It's in kilo. It will it might be easier to just convert this one CW than two masses. I mean if I was being lazy I would convert one number rather than two numbers. But that's up to you. I think it's CW will be four one eight six if you use it in grams uh, in kilograms, right? No, because you're multiplying it by a thousand grams equals one kilogram, right? Yeah. So it'll be like no. four one eight six. Yeah, four one eight two. What the heck? You See? Keep changing the numbers. There's I've seen three different ones. Like yeah. Six, four, eight, six. Okay, next question. Yeah. Come on. Your one hundred gram cup of tea is boiling hot. About how much ice should you add to bring it down to a certain temperature of sixty five degrees Celsius? Assume that the ice is uh, initially at negative 15 degrees Celsius. The specific heat capacity of ice is 0 0.5 cal uh, per gram Celsius. C. Yeah, okay. Um, and take specific heat capacity 
to be the same as that water. Okay, how do we do this? You want to take your cup of tea to 65 degrees Celsius, and you think it's a genius idea to put ice in it. Hmm. Okay. Great. Now, how do we do that? So your heat that you're going to now need will be, so number one, how much do I need to take my ice to water? Plus, how much would I need to take the water from zero to 65? And plus, how much latent heat you're going to need to convert ice to water. That's the total amount of heat you're going to need. I should have put Q and Q and Q. So how do I do that? So again, Q will be what? M little c delta t. What will this be? M little c delta t. And what was this? ML. Oh, this should be ice. I want to call it ice. This should be water. And that's the mass. And I'm looking for what? How much ice should you add? See on the end check. Yeah, I, I see that. And what would this be? This is the amount of heat you want to get rid of. How will that be? Uh, can I call this M C delta T? What's the M for this one that's given? 100 grams. And what is the C for ice? It's the same as that for water, which can be taken as one calorie per gram. Uh, you guys don't write GMS per degree Celsius. And what is the delta T that you want? What is it? 35, right? Yeah. How, how did you get that? Excellent. Which means this will be equal to, I need mass of the ice. No, they give me C of the ice, right? 0.5. I'm not putting all the numbers in. And delta T of the ice, it starts at minus 15 and it goes to zero. Plus, mass of the water is what I want. CW of water is one calorie per blah, blah, blah. I'm not writing it again, I'm running out of room. And what's the delta T for water from 65 minus zero plus M and the latent heat for water is 80. Here we go. Now, can we solve for M? Please say yes. Excellent. We're good, right? Woohoo!